What is up everybody? Welcome to another brand new video. Today, for Friday, we're gonna do a bit of a face-off Friday because luckily I got my Target order in the mail today. I picked up four items and each one was $19.99 plus tax and shipping. So I am going to pin each one of these up against each other to see where the best value lies. So show you what products we got. And uh, again, this is Searching for Hits with Eric. I am Eric. Uh, we're going to have not one but two hanger boxes of score football, which will be an interesting comparison to the baseball stuff. We have one thing that I've never opened before. It's the, uh, the world's greatest card chase. Uh, I've heard about it on various YouTube sites. You got random packs inserted and all kinds of other things. This is either going to be really awesome or really terrible. Uh, we also have a blaster of Diamond Kings. Uh, I've opened Diamond Kings before, not a blaster. I've opened hangers on the channel and an absolute blaster box. So some cool stuff. Um, I also have some Stadium Club blasters on their way for next week, but uh, we will get going. I'm going to make my prediction. I think that uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the world's greatest card chase is going to win. Um, Honestly, I really don't think so. I would have, if I had to guess, I would guess Absolute. So um, Absolute is my real guess. I'm hoping the world's greatest card chase pays off, but uh, we will pick out the top cards from each and see what we can find. So we'll start off with Score Football. Um, these blaster, uh, these uh, hanger boxes have the purple parallels in them, exclusive to the hanger boxes. Looking for your top rookies, uh, Trevor Lawrence being the big one. So let's see what we can find. Let me just take the plastic off of this one as well, since those hangers are so loud. And let's get underway. We'll start off with this pack. Um, just like your typical hangers, one single pack inside, cellophane. Show you the odds. Uh, actually, Panini, which is uh, who owns Score. Uh, does not give odds, but uh, if you want to take a look at the box, those are some of the things that we can hope to find in here. So let's get underway. We're putting away aside the top cards. Not quite as familiar with the top rookies this year, um, but we will do our best. Uh, so Here's what the 2021 score football cards look like. There's the back, typical Panini, one year of stats plus the career. Uh, Tyler Boyd, Demarcus Lawrence. I kind of like the design. Uh, there's Demarcus Lawrence trying to get in front of Daniel Jones. There's Gronkowski celebrating a touchdown. Jalen Hurts, future, uh, future long-term quarterback for the Eagles, I think. Um, Devontae Parker. Lamar Jackson, superstar. Darnold, who's no longer with the Jets. There's Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, had a nice rookie season. Michael Strahan, loved him with the Giants. Now he's on Good Morning America. Carl Lawson, Zach Cunningham. Cards are flipped every which direction. Marquez Valdez-Scandling. Corey Davis, uh, Luke Keikley, David Johnson. There's Juju. Rodrigo Blankenship, uh, Kendrick Bourne, Aaron Donald, Traquan Smith, Tyler Lockett, Hunter Renfro, there's Jared Goff, Alvin Kamara, who is a beast, DK Medcalf. We have a 3D card of Palomalu, TJ Watt, and J Jack Lambert. That's a kind of cool card. Not really much in terms of value, so uh, not much in my maybe pile yet. Um, we'll see what the rest of the box has to offer. There's a Drew Locke score team. Uh, Charles Woodson game face. DK Metcalf score team. There's a Brady championship card. Next level card of Drew Brees. There's a TJ Watt game face. Uh, Joe Burrow score team. There we go. Now we're getting into some of the rookies. There's Devontae Smith. 
pretty cool throwback to the uh, late 90s score baseball cards. It's pretty cool looking. Devontae Smith. We got a Cam Newton. Another next level. Uh, there's Ray Lewis. Nick Chubb. Uh, Jamar Chase out of LSU. Russell Wilson. There's uh, another one of those 3D cards. Killer linebackers, Erlacher, LT, and Ray Lewis. Jonathan Taylor. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, there's a uh, John Randall. And we have a Tua numbered. And that's going to be 446 out of 460. Tua Tagavalioa. That's a nice one right there. So first numbered card. Um, we'll put that up on the board as our number one for right now. Uh, we got a Brett Favre. Pretty nice looking card. Jeff Heath, a next level digs. Brady White rookie card. Tyler Vaughn's rookie card. Patrick Sertan the second rookie card. His father was a great player. Victor Demakeje, Nick Bolton, Trey Sermon, Daz Newsom. Here's where all the rookies are. Rashad Bateman, Aziz Ojalare, Najee Harris, Damon Hazlin Jr., Jamar Chase, and Anthony Schwartz. So, got one numbered card, and it was a Tua. That's nice. Um, let's see what's in our second hanger before we put any more cards up on screen. Nothing too crazy. Although I do like that numbered Tua a lot. Love to find at least one hit, one auto or relic in this. Um, actually, I'd like to find two, because Absolute's guaranteed to give you one. Okay, we're going to go through the base just a little bit faster this time. There's Miles Sanders. There's the Tua to go along with the Tua. Loka Thomas. Mahomes. Evans. There's Evan Ingram. Thurman Thomas. Chase Young. Derrick Henry's a beast. Uh, Jung Ho Ku, Kyle Rudolph, Julio Jones, Kurt Warner. I like the mix of throwbacks and current players. That's nice. There's Elway, Mike Williams. And now we're into the inserts. There's a Devontae Adams score team, Von Miller game face, Justin Jefferson score team. Uh, there's another Tua, so many Tua's in this set. DeAndre Swift, next level. Uh, there's a Tampa Bay Buccaneers 3D card. Next level of Dalvin Cook. Zach Wilson, rookie card from the Cougars. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald, next level card. A C.D. Lamb, next level. Uh, there's a Cowboys. Derrick Henry next level, and there's a Mac Jones rookie card, quarterback out of the Crimson Tide, Stephon Diggs. Uh, let's see here. There's a 3D of some cornerbacks, Chase Claypool score team. There's an LT game face, love it, and a Barkley score team. Rodrigo Blankenship, and that's going to be numbered. Number 214 out of 460. We'll put that up on screen since it's a numbered card. And now we're going to get into the rookies. There's Jesse Bates. Is that a parallel? Uh, Tom Brady. There's a Kyle Trask. That's a purple, actually. So that's a purple parallel. And here's the other purple parallel. I must have missed them before. Um, Jabril Cox, Tylen Wallace, Trey McKitty, Carlos Basham, Kyle Trask, Mills, Patterson, Hookah Williams, Trayvon Morning, Zach Smith, and Peyton Ramsey. So no luck getting Mr. Lawrence. And let me just 
scroll through here and find those other purples. I don't know if they were rookies or not. Um, I'm not sure where they are. Uh, either way, nothing too, too crazy. Those will be the top three. They're not going to compete with any of the other cards, but it was nice to open them up and show. Um, I don't know. I'm a Giants homer. The score football is not going to beat the other packs, or at least I hope it's not. So I'm uh, comfortable putting those up there. So um, unless we are super unlucky, um, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate the score football so that we can focus on baseball. Um, next up, we're going to go with this World's Greatest Cards, Jace, because I am dying to know what's in here. Um, could be complete trash. It could be really good. Big find, Mike Trout rookie card. I doubt I'm going to find one, but you never know, right? Just like the lotto. All right, let's see what is inside the world's greatest card chase. Extra level of security here. All right, here we go. So the world's greatest card chase. What do we have? Oh, we have a Babe Ruth collection. Uh, absolute trash. I'm not even going to open this. Um, this is truly, truly valueless. So, we'll put that aside. Next pack up, we got a 1988 Donruss, followed by a 1989 Tops. What else do we have? 88 tops, 90 Fleer, and 90 Upper Deck. So, world's greatest card chase is already a pretty big letdown. I don't anticipate this one winning either, unfortunately. Um, let's uh, let's rip into these packs, see if we find anything crazy. Um, I don't think we will, but let's see. Uh, 88 tops is, is pretty much a, a dud set. This is true junk wax but fun to open i had a ton of these as a kid growing up and we'll take a quick look through them they should be pretty familiar to you if you've been collecting baseball cards at all you got eric show and there's the back of the tops 88 bill madlock brett butler tim conroy jerry reese dave palmer johnny ray there's a rock reigns uh, it's got the wax stain on the back too terry pendleton mcclure dave smith Tom Henke, Corey Snyder, and that will do it for the 88 Tops. All commons. Uh, let's move on to the 88 Donruss. Looking for the Tom Glavin rookie, which is worth a couple of bucks. Um, that's the best card in this set. Let's see if we could find it. We got Denny Walling. Uh, Donruss, as, uh, as usual in this era, gives you up to five years plus the career stats. Floyd Bannister, there's Oda B. McDowell, Kirk McCaskill, Andy McGaffigan, Mike Gallego, Larry Herndon, John Shelby, Rick Cerrone, Corey Snyder, there's a Hall of Famer, Dennis Eckersley, Larry Parrish, Thad Bosley, rated rookie of Kevin Elster, and Bob Browner. So not much going on there either. Let us go to, let's do the 89 tops. Another set, not a whole lot going on. You got uh, you got Craig Biggio in here. You got Randy Johnson. You got a uh, handful of others, but that's about it. I do like the design of 89 Tops. Brings back memories of my childhood. You got Rene Gonzalez on top. Doyle Alexander, Bruce Fields. Terry Steinbach, Jim Gantner. There's Nails, Lenny Dykstra. Russ Nixon, uh, manager right before Bobby Cox came over. Randy Sinclair, Chili Davis, Gene Walter, Darnell Coles, El Cid, Sid Fernandez, along with the Mets team leaders card, which is pretty cool. Chris Carpenter rounds it off. Take a look at this Mets team leaders card. Runs, Mr. Daryl Strawberry. Home runs, Mr. Daryl Strawberry. Runs batted in. Strawberry, McReynolds with hits, doubles, and average. 
and then Coney and Doc and all the other good pitchers. So cool card. I like it, but not much value. So looks like it's going to be between Diamond Kings and Heritage, um, which I guess could be their own face off. Let's uh, let's look at the Fleer 1990. They give you the stickers versus Donruss, who gives you the puzzle pieces. Uh, Fleer 90, we're looking for the Sosa rookie and the Griffey Jr. second year card, amongst a few others. Dave Stewart, Lance Johnson, Lee Guterman. That's what the back of the cards look like. They actually give you the minor league stats in addition to their career stats. Darren Dalton, uh, Charlie Huff, who pitched forever. You can see all those years. Rookie year was 1970. So this was his 20th season. I believe he went on to pitch for a few more. Geronimo Barroa. Got a couple of good shortstops there. Tony Fernandez and Cal Ripken Jr. Ted Power. Jesse Orozco looking strange in an Indians uniform. Bob Ojeda. Joe Orsalak. Tony Fasas. Luis Aquino. Tim Tuffle. Known for the Tuffle Shuffle when he batted. Bud Black and Norm Charlton. So... We are striking out pretty bad. Um, not getting much of anything so far. Best card is the Dennis Eckersley 88 Donruss from this, which is just about valueless. Let's look at this 90 upper deck. Don't recall who's in 90 upper deck, but I don't believe there's much um, in terms of any names. Um, Larry Walker might be the best rookie in here. If this was his rookie, I think it was. Jimmy Key. There's, uh, there's the big cat, Andres Galarraga. Uh, a lot of Expos so far. We're going Canada here. Expos and Blue Jays. Otis Nixon. Uh, Norm Charlton. Jay Buhner. Bill Buckner. Oral Hershiser. There's a little hologram team. Atlanta Braves. Here's a cool card. We got a Bo Jackson. Great player, baseball and football, two-way. We'll put that up on screen. I like I like Bo, Bo knows. Greg Matthews got a, uh, is that Steve Sachs? That's Steve Sachs. There we go. We got a Tino Martinez rookie. So the upper deck pack was not bad. And uh, Dave Coney. So those are going to be the two best cards in this entire box, both coming from the upper deck pack. Um, the Tino, I'll put in a sleeve. Um, I like Tino. My cousin Joe likes Tino Martinez a lot. Um, not much value. You find it in a quarter, in a quarter box, maybe a 50 cent box. But that will do it. We're halfway through this video and somewhat disappointed thus far. But we have the two, hopefully, best for last. We're going to go with Diamond Kings and then... Absolute, which I predicted would win with the Diamond Kings. 35 cards per box across seven packs. One blaster exclusive blue frame parallel, plus the chances to find all kinds of other inserts, autographs, and so forth. So here are the packs for our Diamond Kings and our little security sensor. Sorry about that, almost knocked the camera over. And we got our packs, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So let's get into the Diamond Kings and see what we're gonna put on the screen to represent them against Absolute. Let me know what you think. Um, subscribe if you have not already, and make sure you do hit the like button on the video. Let me know who you think won this face-off, whether it's Diamond Kings or Absolute, um, or if you're delusional and think that the world's greatest card chase won. Uh, starting off the Diamond Kings, we got Jesus Sanchez leading this off, followed by a Pete Rose, Shane McClanahan rookie card. There's an artist's palette, Juan Soto, and a debut Diamond Kings of Bobby Dahlback. So, Already got a few rookies, and um, if I were to put those five cards on screen, those five would likely beat both boxes I've already opened. So <laughs> there you go. Let's see what's in pack number two. Okay. 
Okay, pack number two of the Diamond Kings box. We got Satchel Page leading things off, followed by Will Crow. We got an upside down Manny Machado card. It's probably gonna be our framed parallel. And there it is, blue frame parallel Machado. We got a Carl Hubbard aficionado card and an Eddie Collins. I'm just gonna turn my fan on as it's getting a little toasty in here. Don't know how much that's gonna help, but it's definitely roasty toasty in, uh, in my house today with the heat outside. Hope everyone is uh, having a good day, ready for the weekend. I certainly am. Uh, let's see, pack number three, we got Shane Bieber on top. Monte Harrison. We have an artist's proof of Edward Olivares. We also have a gallery of the stars, Fernando Tatis Jr. That's a nice card right there. And a Roger Maris to finish off that pack. Next up, actually don't feel any thick packs, so I don't think I have a relic. Um, hopefully an auto, but um, we will see. There's Hank Greenberg, uh, Leody Tavares, Harmon Killenbrew, an artist's palette of Joey Gallo, and a Ryan Castellani debut Diamond Kings. Next pack up. Got a Daz Cameron on the back. And we got Alex Bregman leading this pack off. Garrett Crochet, Walker Bueller, and the club, Cal Ripken Jr. And there's Daz Cameron, son of Mike Cameron, if that face looks a bit familiar. Similar batting stance as well. Daz will probably make my top cards from Diamond Kings, unless I have some crazy hits coming up out of these last two packs. Pack's giving me a little bit of difficulty. There we go. Got a Dean Dunning on the back. And a Ryan Jeffers on the front. Followed by a Mickey Mantle, an artist's proof of Alejandro Kirk, a Manny Machado elegance card. That's a pretty cool looking card, not numbered, and a Dane Dunning. So getting a lot of the rookies. Um, haven't seen the top rookies yet. Your Alec Bombs, Casey Mize, Hebron Hayes, but uh, Still, got some good ones. There's William Contreras, rookie card. Christian Yelich. Harvey Kuhn, artist's proof. A legendary lithographs of Joe Wood. And a Christian Pache. So, finished it off with a decent rookie at least. Um, who am I going to put on screen to represent Diamond Kings? Uh, we'll call... Pache, go with that blue frame. And then um, go with the artist's proof cards. All right. Um, and we'll put the Gallery of the Stars tattoos up there too, just just for, uh, for why not, right? Um, not a great showing. Um, I think it'll be pretty easy for Absolute to take this. But let's open them up and find out. Let's see who our hit is going to be. Hopefully it'll be somebody really good, um, as I've been relatively disappointed with the opening so far. But that's the way it goes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't win. There's our packs. Let's get those on out of the box. Okay. And away we go with our absolute 2021. This pack feels thick, so let's save that one for last. All right, so Absolute, there's the wrapper. They don't give you odds because it is a Panini product, but let's see what we can find. Again, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. We'd love to have you along for more content. 
And here we go with Absolute Baseball from Panini. On top, we got a Billy Martin, followed by a Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, Brandon Woodruff. There's what the back of the cards look like. Typical Panini cards. J.D. Martinez. There's a Brandon Woodruff green parallel. Uh, rookie class Andres Jimenez. Uh, there's a Jordan Alvarez power card. Nice insert. And an extreme team Bryce Harper insert. So lots of different inserts in this set similar to Donruss, where there's lots of parallels and such. Just makes opening it up a little bit fun, finding all kinds of different things. On top of pack number two, we got Salvi Perez. There's a Cal Ripken Jr. Zach Gallen, nice young pitcher. Isaiah Kinner Falefa. Our green parallel for this pack is J.D. Martinez. We got an Austin Martin. That's a pretty good one. We're going to put that up on screen. I can safely say that that will make my top five. Uh, Mike Yastrzemski, statistically speaking, and a Wander Franco prospect. So two big name prospects coming out of absolute already. So good start. Up next, we have Joey Bart on the back, another top rookie from the class of 2021. We got Miggy, Miguel Cabrera, future Hall of Famer, Aaron Nala, there's a Ken Boyer, uh, there's a numbered card of Jose Ramirez, red parallel out of 99, 36 out of 99. So that's pretty cool. We got a Salvador Perez green parallel. We got a Pete Alonzo green parallel power card. That's pretty cool, I like that. An Icons of Ken Griffey Jr. and a Joey Bart rookie class. So this box has been pretty good to me so far. I'm actually gonna have a uh, potentially tough choice on what I'm going to put on screen, but um, I would say hands down, Absolute has already won and I haven't even found the hit yet. So let's see what else we can find. This is gonna be pack number four. Hugh Darvish leading things off. Justin Verlander, future Hall of Famer there. Shohei, uh, Yimer Candelario. We got an Acuna Green Parallel, which is pretty nice. An Extreme Team Green Parallel of Trevor Story. We got a Sandy Koufax and a Ha Sung Kim. So nothing too crazy in that pack. A couple of nice green parallels, but nothing numbered. Um, this pack was definitely thicker than the rest. So we saved it for last. Looks like I guessed correctly. And let's see what we got. There's a big thick card in the center. Usually means relic, but Hopefully it will be a uh, an auto to go with it. We got Kyle Tucker, Jack Flaherty, the Babe, Babe Ruth. Oh, I'm dropping a card. All right, let's save that hit for last. Uh, there's a Ripken Green parallel. That's pretty cool. And an Alec Baum Green parallel. That will probably go right into the. Oh, actually, the Austin Martin was a green parallel, too. I didn't realize. Um, so two green parallel big-name prospects. Uh, Gil Hodges Power and an Unsung Heroes Matt Chapman. So let us see what our hit is going to be. I am hoping it is not just a relic, but we will find out. Um, R-T-E-W. That doesn't help me at all. Rookie Threads. Rookie Threads. Evan White rookie thread. So it is just going to be a simple unnumbered relic of Evan White. Well, even with the relic, hands down, Absolute has won. Uh, 
love that Wander, like the Austin Martin and Alec Bond even more. Uh, so let me know what you think, um, if you feel like my assessment is correct. Uh, but um, nice to be able to get cards again. And uh, we will see you next time as we go searching for hints. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend.